Good day, everyone. Vox Historicus presents The Business Cycle. Today's objectives are to identify the main elements of the business cycle. We're also going to trace the changes of the business cycle and their relevance to the national economy. We will then assess real economic growth according to the business cycle. And lastly, evaluate the connection of the business cycle to the PPC. Let's get started. The business cycle. The business cycle, or the national economy, that fluctuates resulting in periods of boom and bust. As you can see here, it almost resembles a roller coaster. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly what it is. There are times known as peaks and troughs and again peaks. But there are also certain elements that are occurring during the business cycle. And at a peak, you will find most of the time inflation and possibly even full employment. Now, when we talk about troughs, well, you most definitely are going to find unemployment social unrest, possibly even lack of resources because, of course, lack of labor and uh, lack of production. And again, we'll go through a trough, we'll go through a peak, we'll go through a trough, we'll go through a peak. But you have to understand, no matter what, the economy is constantly what? Growing. There is a growth trend that constantly occurs, as you can see here, as the business cycle progresses. Now, as you go through certain periods in the business cycle, you will find that between a peak and a trough, as we go from a peak, as we go from a peak to a trough, that is known as a recession. But as we go from a trough, to a peak, that is known as a recovery period. And let's not forget that the actual line of the business cycle, the actual up and down line, up and down curve, essentially represents real GDP. Real GDP's up, real GDP's down, real GDP's up. You can see that here. Again, real GDP up. Real GDP down, real GDP up, and real GDP down. Hey, let me ask you something. Can you identify certain periods of history that might resemble a peak and a trough? Let's try it. Okay. What's that? We'll go with a trough, possibly 2008, 2009. Yeah, that sounds like, that sounds like a trough. And a peak would probably be, because a peak probably came before a trough, so maybe 2000 to maybe uh, 2007, maybe? Yep. And 2007 to 2008 would probably be somewhat of a uh, recession. 2008. You know what? I think 2009 would be more of a, I think 2009 would be more of a, of a trough. Because 2009, at 2009, I think there was a change there in the economy uh, right after Barack Obama took presidency, took the presidency, and we started a recovery uh, era. And, of course, is are you saying that we've reached a peak yet? Well, how do you know you've reached a peak? How do you, how do you know? How do you know you've reached a peak? Because, sir, well, once you reach the top, there's only one way you can go, which is the bottom. So you can probably identify a peak as you're headed to a recession or a trough. Yep, that sounds about right. So a recession is, by the way, a recession is um, six months period of decline in output, income, employment, and trade. If really bad, that's what we call a depression. It's a little bit more than 9 to 12 months of decline in output, income, and employment, and trade to reach a depression. Maybe even possibly 12 months. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the business cycle. Up, down, up, down, 
but no matter what, the economy is constantly growing. You have to remember that. Why is the business cycle like a roller coaster? Well, I mean, take a look at it. We were just trying to do that ourselves, but I do have a graph for you here by years and 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 uh, of history and different elements that are occurring, different ev events that are occurring during the years of history. So you know what? Why don't you observe this graph here, these graphs here, these charts, and see if you can identify peaks and troughs. Well, of course, you're right. I've given you the peaks in green and, of course, the troughs in red. I do have a question, though. How do wars affect the economy? Why don't you think about that question? Be ready to discuss that in class. Now, why does the economy fluctuate? Why do we have a business cycle? Well, it's because retailers and producers send misleading information sometimes about consumer demand. Or we have advances in tech, productivity, or resources. And we also have outside influences like wars, supply shocks, or panic. You know what? Who cares about all this? Well, we do. Macroeconomics measures these fluctuations and guides policies to keep the economy stable. We need some sort of timeline so we can decide on what policies to implement and how they are affected. The government itself has the responsibility to promote long-term growth, prevent unemployment, and prevent inflation, the three goals of our economy. Here's another character trip that might help you understand the business cycle, characteristics of expansions and recessions. Be sure to understand all the characteristics of an expansion and a recession for class. You may be quizzed on them, so please go over them quite a bit. Here's a quarter-to-quarter -quarter growth in real GDP. This is, of course, 2010. GDP growth rate, 2.8%. What is economic growth? It is an increase in real GDP over time, an increase in real GDP per capita over time, usually resulting, of course, in determining the standard of living for your society. Why is economic growth the goal of every society? Because in the end, it provides better goods and services, it increases wages and standard of living, it allows more leisure time, and the economy can better meet its wants. The connection that the business cycle has to PPC is very, very simple to understand. The same information shown on the business cycle can also be shown on the production possibility curve. Full employment, we've seen that. Anything where? Where, 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 where? Let me, let me just pull one up so you can see one. Okay. So where can you see full employment? Are you saying point A, point B, point C, point D? Are those full employment? A through D? You're correct. How about point F? Would that be unemployment? Yes, you're correct. So unemployment is shown by letter F. And how about inflation? Can you see inflation? Well, that's going to be a little bit of a tough one, but I will give you a hint. A through D. Oh, yes, anything along the curve. No, it is. Anything along the curve can represent inflation. The shifters of PPC affect GDP. Yes, they do. Change in quantity, quality of resources, changes in technology, and changes in trade. All resulting in the shifting of PPC also, the moving of the business cycle. I want you to pause the video, and I want you to get ready for a possible mini assessment in class. I've already given you a hint as to what it might be over. Try to fill in the blanks, ladies and gentlemen, and answer the questions. Well, that concludes our lecture for today. Practice with this review that you have in front of you. It will help you on a mini assessment over the business cycle. Have a great day, ladies and gentlemen.